I've been having some problems with a friend lately, and uh, I asked some of you guys for some advice. Most of you guys told me that I need to suck it up, be the bigger man, apologize, I'll feel better. And um, I kind of did that, sort of. Like, she just graduated, so I went to her graduation. I recorded her walk across the stage and, you know, sent it to her and stuff. And uh, then she had a graduation party. That one I was kind of iffy about. I decided I was going to go to it, just because, you know, it's a... Pretty big event, so I didn't want to. Like, if we did start talking again, I didn't want to be able to hold that above my head. Like, you didn't go to my graduation party, you asshole. However, when I did get to a graduation party, uh, I was still pretty much an asshole. Like I said, yeah or yep the whole time. That's all I said. Like I walked in, I don't know what she said. You get a new phone? Yep. Can I see it? Yep. Uh, did I give you our winter formal pictures or whatever? I just shook my head. Then, uh, I don't even remember what she asked, but she said something out loud, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Then later, um, I'm about to leave. She said, are you about to leave? I was like, yep. She, she gave me a hug and said that, uh, um, it really meant a lot to her that I showed up. And like an asshole, I said, yep. That's all I said. I mean, there's, that's pretty mean. I mean, like, I'm mean a lot of times. Like, I have my temper side, but that was just, that was cruel almost. I don't think she noticed, but, and she, I, as far as I know, she doesn't watch my videos on YouTube, so, uh, I'm not expecting her to see this, so I'm not expecting her to be able to hold that above my head. Like, all you said was, yep, you're an asshole. Because my mom calls me that enough, you know. No, my mom doesn't call me an asshole. So in like the last week, we were, uh, I don't know, we were kind of texting on the phone and stuff. And she just went out to Florida for a vacation or something. And I told her that, I don't remember how the conversation got started, but I said uh, I didn't really want to be her friend anymore because... I didn't ever think she ever believed me. She never trusted me. And it just felt like she never even cared about me, so I was like, well, if that's the way it's going to be, then I don't want any part of this friendship. Because it's been like five years, and I honestly cannot think of anything that she's ever done for me. Like, it's, it seems like the whole friendship's been about her, and you know, that's fine, I guess, for like the most part. Like, you know, it's better to give to than to receive, but... After that long a time, all you get is just a hi, how are you doing kind of thing. It's eh. Anyway, so after this, she she uh, eventually texts me back and she says that uh, that I really do care. She really does care about me and that she chooses to keep me in her life as a friend and stuff. But I pretty much told her that I'd had it. I'd want it out of the friendship. So I. According to her, she says that uh, she was thinking of ways to show me that she cares and that she wants me around. However, uh, one of my other friends told her that I was running my mouth about her. And anything that I said about her, I've said to her. And so it was pretty much me having a conversation with that person about what she's doing. And... uh my other friend, I guess, just told her that I was talking a whole bunch of shit and that it was just really not good and it was really mean. Even though that friend um, agreed with me with everything I said, and then they're going to go behind my back and just butt in and like, ruin our friendship pretty much. I mean, if there was any chance of it happening again, it just went like, Phew, bye. You know, when I was telling her I didn't want to be her friend anymore, I don't know if I was just saying that just because I was in a really bad mood or if I was just in a really bad place or what, but I was serious at the time. I thought I was I thought I was being serious. When I said I don't want to be your friend anymore, I don't want to talk to you anymore, I was just so, I felt so strong about it. And then after she told me that I was talking crap about her and that, um, 
she didn't believe me that I wasn't, which again plays into the whole trust issue. She doesn't trust me at all. Um, she pretty much told me to like erase her from my life, period. And then I text her something else and then she responded with, who is this? <laughs> that hurt. I'm not going to lie, that hurt. You can, <laughs> if I had my two buddies here that were with me at the time, they could vouch for me that my demeanor of that night just completely changed. I was, I was in a pretty good mood. I was, we are I don't remember what we were doing. I think we were going to Walmart, you know. So, I live in Iowa. You know, if you look in the pages of the phone book, the top three things to do in Iowa is Walmart and two other things. I don't know. I haven't experienced the other two yet. But I was in a really good mood, and <laughs> that just ruined my night, my week. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I don't know if it's done for good. I don't know if it's... I just don't know. Because, like, we've argued a lot, but we've always made back up somehow. I mean, I, she slapped me once, and I didn't ever think I was going to be, like... I didn't ever think I was going to be able to talk to her again. Like, I was just furious about that. And then we became friends again, but this time it just seems so serious. I don't see how it's going to happen. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I don't know if I just got to wait and see what happens or... I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, do you have any advice? Because I sure as hell need it. Because when it comes to other people, I'm... I'm first off the bat to be like, hey, this is what you should do. But when it comes to my own problems, I have no idea what to do. I'm like a lost puppy. I don't know. I kind of just think that if she doesn't believe me, if she doesn't have like the kind of trust in me after five years to be like, well, he says he didn't do it, so maybe he didn't do it. Then I don't know what to do. I don't... Like, we've apologized to each other so many times that it just seems like Saying sorry is losing its meaning. I mean, there's only there's only so many times you can say you're sorry. If you guys have any ideas, or if you guys have been through a situation like this, let me know, like, what to do. The only other person I've asked what I should do to, I was like, dude, I really need some advice. Like, I have no idea what to do. He said that's what alcohol's for. Yeah, but alcohol makes me sick, so that's not happening. Let me know. Let me know what you think.